Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Express. We're right here on SABC3. Now, local is lacquer and local talent is where it's at. Now, next guest is so talented that she's been scooped up by an international series. She's a household name and that doesn't even need an introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to make some noise for the beautiful and talented Kim Engelbrecht. <laughs> You know what? We're so proud of you. And I'm not like, because we were in high school together. Yeah. I don't know if anybody knows up that. Up the road. So, we live up the road. So yeah, I'm like, oh, the road. girl, I want to say congratulations. We want to say congratulations. You are doing so amazing. But how Thanks. does it feel to be a part of a massive Hollywood production like this? I mean, it's really cool. It's, it's such an honor. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, I think my first day, I think I really realized what a big production it is because you get there and it's a brand new set. You know what I mean? You on an international set. You've got people that have been doing this for years. Wow. So I think you do understand, like you feel the scale of it. Um, yeah, so it's just important just to hold your own and just take a deep breath. Exactly. And just take it in your stride, yeah. you know. But and do you ever like freak out? <laughs> like what? The <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, calm down. You've had your freak out. You moments. got this. Yeah, all the time. I think like there are moments. Like sometimes I do wake up. I'm like. I'm in Canada. <laughs> I'm doing this. You know what I mean? Wow, like, that's, that's amazing. Really cool. Well, yeah. you've, you've worked, you know, on local productions. You're now on an international production. Do you feel like, you know, Africa as a whole match up to the Hollywood standards? Well, I mean, I, I think we, we definitely are. We are, we are a growing industry. And I think um, it stands testament because there's a lot of South African actors that are doing really well abroad. So, you know, I think it's, 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 it's just bound to happen, you know, yeah, where the yeah. rest of the world are going to look at South Africa, not only its country, but also the talent and go, let's pinpoint this. Um, but obviously this is a, it's a different scale. You know, it's, it's a little bit bigger, the stakes are higher. I'm not only playing to South Africa or to Africa, I'm playing to the rest of the world. Yeah. So, you know, but it's exciting. It yeah. is exciting, it's, it's very exciting. exciting. Now, I think why I'm so proud of you is because well, I knew you back in the day, you know, back in the day sure, before sure. all of this happened. Yeah. And just seeing your journey is so incredible. What about other young people who are looking at you right now, who are wanting to follow in your footsteps? What would your advice be sure, to follow, those who want to do the same? Do what you need to do. <laughs> um, I think it's just like, I don't for more, you know, I know what I mean. Like you just, you just try and try and try and you fail and fail and fail and you start again. and. I think just not losing hope and also understanding that the job that we are doing, if yeah. you want to choose anything in the arts or maybe you want to be a, like a, an amazing athlete, you know, you want to try and be the best. So obviously the competition is rife yeah. and it's not always going to be smooth sailing, but, you know, just like the risks are high, the rewards are even higher. So just like don't stop, exactly. you know, don't exactly. stop. Could you like just I give us a that. taste of that American accent? Um, so funny because I always go, um, please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. And then from there, I just kind of say any word. <laughs> so cool. Oh, um, well done, well done. Oh, oh thank you. Well, Kim, thank you so much for joining us. And you're going to be hanging out with us the entire morning. For sure. Yes, she is with that yeah. little sweet American <laughs> accent. Thank you so much for joining us. And don't go anywhere. We love the fact that you're flying that South African flag oh so high. And know that we are very, very proud of you. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Well, I got very excited earlier to play a little game with Kim Engelbrecht. She's still with us in studio. And of course, since she's spending most of her time overseas, we thought we'd play a fun game with her to see just what she misses the most about South Africa. Mm, now, as yeah. the saying goes, local is lacquer. But let's see if Kim still remembers some of these local favorites. So oh, okay. what's going okay. to happen? We're going to give you a few options and you need to ch tell us which one would you rather and tell us why. For sure. Which one we'll would you, you rather choose? Song. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, here we go. Would would you rather choose a local Gatsby or a Canadian hot dog? Oh, a Gatsby. Oh, yes. <laughs> Gatsby will win every yeah, time, though. And I'll probably Sorry, eat the Canada. Than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about this one? Would you rather watch Easy Dingo? Sure. Or a US Answer. series? Come on. Easy Dingo. I'd love to see. <laughs> yeah. Are you but serious? old school. I'd love to watch like old school Easy Dingo. I know. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With the bullets and those, yeah. I miss them. So, what, uh, would you rather watch our version of a taxi or an American cab? Would you catch rather? That's a good one. Yeah, I mean, this is home. Do you know what I mean? And I used to travel with a taxi when I just started working, so. And yeah. it's always entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, the okay. last one. Would you rather, and um, would you rather, which place would be home to you, Cape Town or Canada? Mm. 
Come on. Come yeah, on. Cape Town. <laughs> I feel like these were easy, hey? But Canada's Wait, got a nice it? Cape Towny feel. Yeah, you know, big yeah. city and like water. Kindness <laughs> of like a small town also. They're, they're, you know, Canadians are really nice people yeah, though. Like like Cape Townians yeah. actually, very, very hospitable. And exactly. Like, yeah. They're well, the kind of people that were like, if you need like what like an address or something, yeah. they'll like walk you to the street. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely. Sweet. So the next time we're gonna get you a Gatsby, we're gonna put you on a taxi home because <laughs> yeah. You know, that's sure. what we do. But you know what? We're so proud of you. You're like, you're doing absolutely you, amazing things. And I was asked this morning by my director, who is a huge fan of the show, is there a scoop? Is there something that you can just tell us, you know, <laughs> that we can look forward to? You know, this well, is the, the episode released today. So we want to know, like, what can we look forward to? For we sure. won't tell well, anybody. It, it launches in, in South Africa in January. Yes. So you guys are obviously, I don't know who's already been watching, well, obviously. Well, 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 my director, <laughs> he's ahead. He's ahead. <laughs> but, I mean, the character is going to develop. Okay. And, um, yeah, she's, she's, pretty, she's pretty intense. You don't want to tell her how she's going to be developing? <laughs> well, uh, but do you know anything about her? I, yes, yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, she's not what she seems. Oh. Or they are not what they seem. Okay. Definitely. Well, we're going to try and get a little bit more out of Kim Engelbrecht. She's holding on to that information real tight, but I'm sure she'll, you know, reveal a little bit of things. The character will be developing. That's all we can say for now. But we want to say thank you to her for being such an amazing sport and, of course, playing along and proving that local is and always will be lacquer. Thank you. It's my feel good worth show. Well, we are still hanging out with the lovely Kim Engelbrecht this morning. Lovely to have you. Kim, Thanks you so are much. such an inspiration and flying that South African flag high as well. But we want to talk more about, you know, your role as the villain, the evil one. Because mm -hmm. one day when I venture into acting, which is hopefully going to happen pretty Sweet, soon, yeah. and if somebody asks me, you know, so what role would you want to play? I would probably say like like the bad guy, the villain, because you get to experience things that you wouldn't necessarily experience as well in, in you know, in real life. So we want to find out from you, what is it like to play that 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 bad character, the evil character, the I mechanic? Th I think um, usually, I mean, I think with most villains, they always have like a they they have good intentions, you know, and I think it's always that fight between good and evil, like, so I think it's, you're always on the side of your character, so even though they're naughty, naughty, um, you always think that they want the best, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I get their it. Aim is, their aim is good, but their, yeah. do you, do you ever their kind means of take, are negative. Is there little parts of you, you know, that kind of, you know, that, that link up with that character as well, or is this completely removed from who you no, are? No, for sure, I think also my character, um, she is doing what she thinks is right, so... Mm. Um, obviously, the, the way that she goes about doing things, you know, negative things, um, is obviously the wrong way to do things, obviously. <laughs> obviously. But I think her intentions are good. You know, I think her and the thinker, especially the thinker, um, he wants to save humanity. So in his mind, he's doing, he's doing it for the greater good. Okay. But in reality, yeah. it's not like that for sure. else. So we feel like, um, you know what, we feel like female villains don't get enough credit because you always hear about the Joker, you hear about Lex Luthor and Darth Vader. Yeah. So we've compiled some of our favorite villains and we would love to hear your thoughts on it. So our first one, oh, one of my favorite movies, <laughs> yeah. 101 Dalmatians, Cruella de Vil. For sure. Yes. You know, what the, I was reading about it and they, actually the name comes from Cruel uh -huh. and Hal. Oh, so yeah. Cruella, Cruella. That's where her name comes from. So she's really an evil one. Cruella de Vil. Yeah, yes. she's and like then, a social like yeah, so. exactly. And um, you know, she, she is evil. <laughs> she is evil. And then what about this one? Bellatrix and the Strange, right? From Harry Potter. Yeah. Of course, played by Helena Bonham Carter. I think very yeah. similar to maybe the mechanic. Like her aim is just to like um, do whatever Voldemort and the Dark Lord wants her to do. Yeah. She's like an evil witch and she'll do anything to make him happy and to serve him. So it's very similar to the mechanic and the thinker kind of dynamic. Are you a big Game of Thrones fan? I am. Okay, I am. so, yeah, so on our watcher. list is in fact um, Cersei. 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 Lannister. What do you yeah. think of her? Um, well, everybody that watches Game of Thrones <laughs> knows that um, she, yeah. yeah. Look, yeah, she's um, she's hanging out with the brother. She's she's hectic. <laughs> she's hanging out with the brother, yeah. and she's hectic. That's we should literally correct. Yeah. She will kill all family, you know, to literally protect her secrets, and that's how yeah, bad she is. That, we that's are, to a different extreme. Everything. Yeah, man. Listen, we have one more for you. Uh, sure. Regina George from Mean Girls. Oh. All right, looks very sweet and innocent as well. Uh, of course, uh, Rachel McAdams plays yeah. this character. She's just a big old bully. Yeah, exactly, Fantastic, exactly, so. the high school bully. <laughs> Um, yeah, but but yeah. also you know able to transform herself sure. and, into that role. Do you ever take inspiration from some kind of sure, these they, um, bad girls? Have you ever seen um, one for Elvis, the Cuckoo Nest, um, Nurse Ratchet? Yes. That's pretty like I like that kind of a vibe. Um, Kill Bill. Yes. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's so in Driver, like the, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Emma Thurman. She was cool. Yes, she, she was, was almost cool. like on the, on, the, on the awesome side of being yeah. the bad guy. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much, Kim. Love you to have you once again. Thank and you. yeah, all the best there eh, for, for upcoming. I know you're in South Africa now for a little while before you heading back that way. Um, yeah, man. And I was just asking you now, what is it like on that side? And she's loving it, but there's no place like home. Thanks so, so much, like guys. Home. You guys are lovely. Thank you.